Hey guys, it's Jamie. I'm going to show you this antique wood block. I'm putting cornstarch on the slab and on the wood block itself. As you can see, I'm going to struggle with this one. It's huge. Usually with this one, I'll do it the opposite way around and I'll roll the clay into it. But for this mug, I have to do it this way. So um, it's just patience here and um, knowing when and how much to press. Um, so I'm using my regular template uh, as a guide for the width, but as far as the length, I want to capture the entirety of the wood block. So um, I'm first going to cut my edge straight for the top and then put on my template, but then um, go a little bit longer with it. So wood blocks are something that I'm passionate about. I have lots of them in my studio. I, I think they're most my most precious things. And um, I get them at a place in San Francisco called Dolma. They have them one in Los uh, Palo Alto and Mendel Park. I don't know if they're still there, if they still have wood blocks, but they've become ridiculously expensive. <laughs> so um, I only splurge now if I just, you know, can't live without it that kind of thing. But it's been a while since I purchased one. Anyway, I'm doing the bubbling here and um, I'll do the bubbling on the other side with the scoring and then do the wrap around the oatmeal box. So for the glaze for this one, I chose um, one called Laura's Turquoise and the clay body here is BT Rose from East Bay Clay. So that's about it. Um, this is for March Mug Madness and uh, catch you next time. Thanks.